So we've talked about market equilibrium, which is where quantity demanded was equal to quantity supplied. So that's where everybody that wants to buy at that price can buy at that price, and everyone that wants to sell at that price can sell at that price. But sometimes we're not going to be at equilibrium. Somehow we're sometimes we're going to have a price that's not the equilibrium price. So let's say we're at a price of $22 in this table. So at $22, the quantity demanded is 110. That's how much people want to buy, but quantity supplied is at 140. So more people want to sell than want to buy. Okay, so when we have that situation, we then are going to have what we call a surplus. Okay, so now quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded because the price is above equilibrium. Okay, so if quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded, then we have a surplus. So when we have a surplus, there's extras left over. We don't want less extras left over. So what we're going to do is we're going to see downward pressure on the price. Okay, so let's say these are cookies, really expensive cookies. So if we have 140, we want to sell at $22 and only 110 people willing to buy them, we don't want to hold on to these cookies. So we're going to have to lower the price to be able to get rid of the cookies. So there's downward pressure on price when we have um, a surplus. So now let's look at the other side. So let's say the price is set below equilibrium. So let's say it, the price is set at $13. So now our quantity demanded is 140. That's how many people want to buy, but they're only uh, 80 is what sellers want to sell the quantity supplied. So quantity demanded now is greater than quantity supplied because price is below equilibrium. So what we call that is a shortage where quantity demanded is greater than quantity supplied. So now the price is set so low, these really great cookies. Um, so what's going to happen is more people want it than are willing to sell it. So what they're going to do is they're going to bid up the price. So with a shortage situation, we have upward pressure on the price.